What's going on, everybody? I'm Tank, and this is another episode of Roadie Reactions. In today's reaction video, we're getting some Indian folk metal from Bloody Wood. And these guys just recently released their debut full-length studio album. And to be honest, it absolutely exceeded my expectations, man. It is phenomenal from start to finish. Well, I can't really accurately say that yet because I haven't heard this song. I've been skipping this song because the music video did come out and I wasn't able to film a reaction until now. But the rest of the album, absolutely incredible, man. If you haven't checked it out, the album is called Rakshak and it came out on February 18th, 2022. Self-released from the band. These guys are not on a record label and just put out what may wind up being one of my favorite albums by the time that this year ends, man. If you haven't listened to it, I would highly suggest you do so. Now, I haven't heard too much about this song in this video, which I'm pretty happy about because I like to go into these not knowing much. But the one thing I did hear is that this is one of the heavier songs on this album. So we're probably going to get a banger today. But let's just jump in, man. I will link this original video in the description below. And today, I'm once again listening to Bloody Wood, and for the very first time, checking out the newest music video for their song, Donna Don. Let's go! Oh, hold on. One thing I did just remember, thanks to you guys, I was told to turn on the captions for this because they're not built into the video. So the captions are on. All right, now we're set. Let's go. Flashing lights, there's your warning. References to violence. References to sexual assault. Hold on, I'm actually really happy that they, they did that with this video. Um, very recently we were talking about how a lot of music videos now have flashing lights and there are a lot of people that have epilepsy problems. I'm glad that they brought up the violence and sexual assault stuff though, because I assume knowing these guys, there's not gonna be a lot of video references to that. It's gonna be lyrics, because these guys speak on a lot of different things in their lyrics. Um, I'm glad they put that though, because recently I went to film a reaction to a, a, a band that I'd never heard, and the whole entire music video was somebody basically getting sexually assaulted. And I was like, I can't put this on my channel. Like, I wish I would've known that beforehand because it would've saved me some time, but I doubt we're gonna get visuals of that in this, but let's see. Holy f Holy f I mean, dude, they're not like, they're not pulling punches here. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm a little emotional. Um, uh, I'm not going to dive deep into stuff, but, um, 
you know, like domestic violence and um, sexual assault and stuff like that have happened to a lot of people that are close to me. And I have uh, the same feelings as this. I'm not a violent person, but when it comes to domestic abuse, sexual assault, rape, stuff like that, go for it. Like, violence is an answer, in my opinion, in that situation. But anyways, um, so far, thoughts right away, based on what I've heard from the rest of the album. The guitar tone sounds a little different from some of the other stuff. Like, I can't put my finger on what it is, but it sounds a little different in a good way. It's it's different. It's different from some of the other tones that we've heard on the album. And vocally, I think this is the fastest I've heard both of them fire off lyrics. And it's really impressive, man. Both with the rapping parts and the harsh vocal parts. Um, loving this so far. Let's let's just go back a little ways and keep going. I'm going to try and go back to the beginning of this verse because most of the people that come to this channel know that I break down a lot of gear. I, I, I haven't been getting good looks because I'm looking at the lyrics so much. So I want to go through this whole verse again and just kind of watch and see what I can spot out gear wise while also still listening to the music and stuff like that. But this is, I, this, I mean... This goes hard. <laughs> um, I, man, one of the things I love about this band so much is how much of their culture is in the music. I mean, we've got um, flute on some things. We've got um, sitar and other stuff I think I've heard. We've got the doll that's pretty much always there. And it's funny because recently um, I reached out to one of my friends in Nashville that's um, an audio engineer and a musician, and he's played with a lot of bands, but... He is Indian, and I asked him if he'd ever heard of Bloody Wood, and he hadn't, and he's like, I'm assuming from the name this is something Indian, and I was like, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie, I'm bringing it up to you because you're Indian and I want you to see this. He was so stoked about the doll in all of the music, he was like, I've never heard it used like this, and it's so awesome, because he's like, that's everywhere in our culture, all the time, it doesn't matter. Birthday party, graduation, celebrations, weddings, funerals. Dole is there for everything. So he was pretty stoked on that. Okay, let's go with gear. <laughs> Okay, so, dude, this, 
<laughs> this is fucking. Not only is this so hard, but I mean, lyrically, fantastic, man. I mean, this is great. Um, so gear wise, um, starting at the guitar, we've got the same thing we've seen in the last couple of music videos, a custom model from cathode guitars, which is a handmade custom guitar shop. Actually shop is mm, somewhat accurate, but that company was started by one guy who hand makes everything. All of these guitars, no CNC machines, no machine cutting. It's all a hundred percent handmade. Now, I will say I don't know exactly what is in that guitar in terms of electronics and stuff. They kind of look like Seymour Duncan pickups. Uh, the bridge looks like a hip shot bridge. I'll try and see what I can dig up on that and see if I can get some specs on the guitar because I'm really interested in that. Be interested in knowing what kind of um, body it is too, wood-wise. Um, and then we've got the doll, of course, which we've talked about in other videos and already in this video. Drum-wise, I feel like that's a different kit than what I've seen in other videos. I feel like before their drummer was using Tama, that's a Mapex. That looks like a new kit. And again, I'll try and look into it. Symbol wise, I feel like I've seen quite a few different logos. So um, I, th I think I saw Sabian, Minel, just a big mixture of everything, man. And you know, for a lot of younger bands that don't have big endorsements and stuff like that, you see that a lot. It's not uncommon because a lot of the times you just kind of use what you can get your hands on, man. A full cymbal set from a lot of companies is extremely expensive. Cymbals are not cheap, man. I think drummers probably have it the worst out of most musicians in terms of what they have to spend on their gear because um, drum heads, you got to change out. Sticks you're using all the time. And then when a cymbal cracks or something like that, a whole new cymbal could be hundreds of dollars. So, And then bass-wise, I'm fairly certain that's a court. And we've seen their bassists use uh, Fender jazz basses and a lot of their other stuff, but the headstock looks very court-ish. And I haven't gotten like a really good zoom in, but I could say with like 99.9% .9 accuracy, that's a court. I think it's called an active or action, action bass is what it is from court. Now, it's interesting we don't see a lot of court stuff in music videos because court, believe it or not, is one of the biggest guitar manufacturers in the entire world. The thing is, they manu uh, they manufacture a lot of other company stuff for them. So court's been around since I believe the 60s or so, and they originally started in South Korea as a piano maker and an importer and exporter. They started doing guitars in the 80s but they have a lot of contracts with other huge companies to manufacture their overseas instruments for them. Um, so while court doesn't really have any of their own signature guitars, like, you know, like Fender has Stratocaster, Gibson has Les Paul, Ibanez has the RG stuff like that. Court just has a wide range of different options. They don't have one single guitar that they're really known for, but I'm going to confirm that that's a court but I already am pretty sure it's a court action base. Um, but that's it. Let's just rock the rest of this song, man. I also realize there are other drums in the video, but I know nothing about them, so <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend and try. Yeah, yeah, now if you're straight, time to turn back and run with the pack. It's time to fight, yeah, yeah, we got the ammo to stack. Fuck every man for himself, it's every man for every man and everybody else, everybody else. I raise a fist for the nameless faces, he disgraces, raise a fist for the nameless faces, he disgraces. And yeah. yeah, one day I may change his kind. Mind. One day I may change this guy with my mind. Be the 
Dude, I'll tell you what. That song was fantastic, both musically and lyrically. And I, I, I think for me, what sealed the deal was when we got that transition from the bridge to the outro, where the style of the rest of the song kind of changed. Such cool songwriting, man. I mean, it, it was... This, this was a great one. I really enjoyed this. Uh, let's go talk more about it. So I realized when I just stopped the recording on that actual reaction, that's going to be a long one, man. There was a lot of talking. There was a lot of going back. There was a lot of pausing. And I know that not everybody that watches reaction videos is into that stuff. I'm fully aware that a lot of people just want to turn on a video and see somebody's emotional and physical reaction to a song. But I've said many times, and I know a lot of people that watch this channel know that that's not what I do here. Mainly, I like to break down gear and talk about production and what the band's using and stuff like that. But when I do stop and just talk about personal things and stuff like that, it's because it's something I want to share. It's something I feel needs to be said. So if you're not here for that, that's totally cool, man. You can skip over it. But that's why I like videos like this. So I can sit and talk and, you know, it builds a good community here. We can get to know each other and talk about the things in the comments and stuff like that. And God damn, man, this band, dude... You know, musically, they impress the hell out of me already. And the fact that this is fully produced by them, they engineered it, they mixed it and mastered it and stuff like that. That's impressive in its own. But the lyrical stuff that they have and what they're tackling with their songs, there are not terribly many bands that are doing this right now, in my opinion, at this kind of level, man. And it's not just one specific topic. Like... This song, we have stuff speaking out against sexual assault. We've got somewhat political commentary and stuff like that. I mean, it's... I, I'm really starting to love this band a ton, man. And, um, you know, with my new podcast series, I would love to get one of them on here and just talk to them for a while. If any of them ever see this, you're more than welcome of joining... Or for more than welcome in joining me on that podcast. I would love to talk to you guys and, and talk about your experience, you know, forming this band and coming out of India and stuff like that. But man, if you haven't listened to this album, you're missing out, man. You got to go check it out. I did see that their current tour that was supposed to be out around now is postponed, which is a bummer, but I know there's a lot of people in Europe looking forward to it. So be on the lookout for those newly released dates when they reschedule. And I can't wait to see these guys live someday too, man. I enjoyed that one a ton. I hope you guys did too. If you want to subscribe to the channel, go for it. If you want to like this video, go for it. If you do either, thank you very much. But most importantly, thank you for your time and thank you for watching. I'm on a ton of different social media. I have a Discord server a lot of us hang on. I have a Twitch that I stream on often. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, I'll throw links in the description below. My handle on everything social media is at Tank the Tech. Thank you so very much for watching. I will be back very soon with another episode of Roadie Reactions.